you know, it's not the number of calories that you eat. It's what your body does with those calories. So you have to understand that, you know, everybody says it's just the amount of calories. It's not the amount because when you put in food energy into your mouth, your body has two options. You can burn it or you can store it. Right. So if you burn it, it's fine. You're not going to gain body fat. If you store it, you will gain body fat. So the problem is not the number of calories. The problem is what you do with those calories. So that depends on the hormone, particularly insulin. And that means that the foods you put in your mouth, which stimulate insulin to a different degree, the only thing it means is that certain foods are more fattening than other foods. If the bottom line is that some foods are fattening, some are not, which is not any different than your, what your grandmother would have said, right? She would have said, you're not going to get fat eating broccoli, right? So logical conclusion, then you say, well, then I should eat less of these high insulin foods and more of these not high insulin foods. I'm going to fill up on the vegetables and the meat and the eggs and not fill up on cookies and you know that kind of uh, thing right and that's the only thing that we're trying to stay and everybody says well you know you're so anti-science with calories I'm like no the calories is simply a very low level of thinking it's a very simplistic level of thinking what you have to think is the level above it that is what is the body doing with those calories what's the hormonal response what's what's your body doing and of course what determines how many calories you eat anyway well, it's your hunger, which is all dependent on hormones. What determines how many calories, like people talking about fat equals calories in minus calories out? Well, that's always true, but never, it's almost always misunderstood because what determines calories out is not just, you know, what you, you know, your, your, your willpower. It's how hungry you are. If you're hungry, you eat more. If you're less hungry, you eat less. That's the bottom line. And what determines how many calories you expend, right? It's not exercise. It's almost all basal metabolic rate. And what controls your basal metabolic rate? Well, it's your hormones. So what you're doing is you're trying to get to a deeper level understanding of what causes body weight gain. So therefore you can make a sort of rational decision. If insulin is too high, how am I going to lower insulin? So changing your diet is a perfectly rational way to do that. But there's another way to do that. And that's intermittent fasting. It's very simple. It's been used for thousands of years. If you don't eat, your insulin is going to drop. As your insulin drops, your body is going to start pulling those calories out from storage and start using it. And the key is that there's nothing intrinsically unhealthy about it. Actually, it turns out to be super healthy for most people in North America. Yeah. And I think that was the same. So I did a lot of training in the nineties as well. And of course that was sort of the heyday of the low fat Mm -hmm. diet. And if Mm -hmm. you remember being cardiologist, we had those step one, step two diets. If you remember, they were terrible. Like, so (laughs) these, in case the readers, uh, the listeners don't uh, know what they are is this was an idea back in the nineties where if you had a heart attack, you should lower your dietary fat to less than 10%, which is really impalatable. But it was based on the idea that fat caused heart disease, right? Mm -hmm. So the problem was that fat didn't really cause heart disease. And so you're just eating this terrible diet that wound up being full of carbohydrates. And most of those carbohydrates were refined and a lot of sugar because people didn't care about sugar back in the 90s. They only cared about fat. That was the only thing anybody cared about. And then if you had another heart attack, on this low fat diet, the step one diet, you'd go to a step two diet, Mm -hmm. which was 7% total fat, which is just horrible stuff. 